It's been roughly 18 months since 14-year-old Ladi Gillette was shot dead by former police corporal Karim Martinez. But the emotions stemming from the manner in which the minor was killed are still very real for his family and friends who were in attendance at a Youth for Change symposium held over the weekend in Belize City. The family wanted to do something and put something together so that Ladi would not be forgotten and so that his life would not be in vain. And even though we talk about justice for Laddie, by justice for Laddie we mean justice for all, all our Laddies and all Belizeans everywhere. We've been just sitting back and having um, the people in authority doing things over and over again um, that it's not acceptable by the population of Belize and I feel like um, now is the time for the youths and for people to get together and speak up and know that it has to stop somewhere. Um, the, the government needs to uh, be held accountable. And so I believe that the Justice for Ladies Foundation is one way of showing that um, we're serious about what we're doing. The foundation was formed in the wake of the minor's death and has since successfully executed several initiatives in Ladies' honor. We achieved two of our accomplishments. One was our memorial garden down in Placencia where he died, which was a very sad, sad place and now has become a peaceful place where people go and relax and enjoy. So we were able to do that. We took a defunct playground at St. Andrews. We redid that playground, uh, put up a mural for Laddie, so we were able to achieve that. And then the symposium was the third of our measures that we wanted to get done before his court case. The symposium was organized within a week of the family becoming aware that the manslaughter trial for Martinez commences on January 27th in Dangriga. The family is seeking justice for Laddie, but they also want to ensure that what happened to him does not reoccur at the hands of law enforcement. That is giving birth to Laddie's law a document suggesting amendments to the law in terms of processes to ensure accountability. Today was step one in what we desire to be a series of conversations because we want to ensure that this never happens again. So we had a very open discussion about the Laddie's Law. These are points that the foundation has put forward to ensure what we believe would have been necessary to ensure that it doesn't happen, but also to get consultation from persons who could offer different perspectives, who are policy writers, they are in the department themselves, so they could speak to different things that happen, all in a community effort, a collaborative community effort, to really seek justice, not just for Laddie, but for any other Laddie that would come after. As we engage in this discussion, we could feel that sense of frustration from all the youths that were in the room because our system is very much broken. And because the system is broken, accountability becomes almost non-existent. Let's be very real about it. And in Laddie's case, you have the state being accountable to itself. This wasn't a, a lone gunman. This was an actual officer of the police department, somebody who was supposed to be protecting and serving the community. So all eyes are on this because we want to ensure that you actually hold yourself to what you put into the laws. Dwayne Moody for News 5.